Welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead, y'all. It's probably about six o'clock, six thirty. Six thirty. Still about ninety-one degrees. It's been hot, y'all. Finally got some heat around here, but believe it or not, okra still ain't really kicking on too hard. But hopefully it will. The star David's picking up. So. Yeah, we actually fried some star David last night. But we're gonna take care of the pigs. We're on piglet watch. Dixie is due Saturday the twenty-eighth. I believe that's when y'all should see this video. 29th. 29th. Saturday the 29th. You should remember that date because it's Kyla's birthday. Yeah, it's Kyla's birthday. And yeah, I'm wore out. I've been working with the bland man. We've been clearing a lot for a person building a house. And thank God for air conditioning and the excavator. Thank God for that. Guys, we're going to get down here and take care of some critters and bring you along with us. Thanks for stopping in at the Piney Woods. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, as always, y'all, we appreciate you. I'm sure by now you can tell that we are on the gator. After $19 and some new plug wires, she's purring like a kitten, y'all. Thank goodness. I know, because Felicia's been dragging that cart down to the garden every day. Pick it. She's picked like 100 pounds of tomatoes this week. We're up to 150 six days that's a lot <laughs> we're gonna stop at dixie first She's a, but y'all i'm wore out i'm hot i'm wore out but mentally and physically but she's knocked her water barrel off i don't know if you can see it in the distance y'all we've never had an issue with that in five years of raising well four years of raising pigs out here and my intention was well i'll tell you when we get out apparently she got bored last night and because it was like that this morning Mm -hmm. See y'all, with all the heat and the work that we've been doing, things get behind. This water barrel just fell off the center blocks. Yeah, she pushed it off the center blocks. Because she's rooting it around. And we've never had pigs do that until as of late. So the plan is to get a platform built with a lip around it so they can't knock it off. But she can still get water out of it, so it's no big deal. Move on down here to Dixie. Would you like to tell the folks why you had to go back to the feed room? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. Tell them why you had to go back to the feed room. Because you gave her the chicken feed. So I had to go back and get more. It's hard to find good help these days. It's ridiculously hard to find good help these days. Y'all, this is the last round of Sussex that we hatched and brooded and from this flock along with some hens that we have left that we did not process we processed roosters only for speckled sussex to go in the farm shop they'll become our new sussex laying crew and we'll keep the best looking rooster out of here for rebreeding purposes but they look great it won't be long before they'll be changing out with the other sussex because they'll become chuck wagon not these, the other ones. Y'all had something I was going to say, but honest to goodness, I can't remember what it was. It seems like the hotter it gets and the more wore out I get, the shorter my attention span is, and then you short circuit. I short circuit. Lisa says something. I forget what I had on my brain. But chuck wagon. That's what. That's where I was going. Is chuck wagon. We have been selling every bit of the ground ranger breast and thigh patties that we can produce, and we're out of them. Other than like one pack. No, we're out of them. We're out of them until our next flock of birds, which would be. Three End of August, yeah. we get them, so it'll be a while. We've got plenty of chicken, just bratwurst and that have just seemed to sell really quick. So we will have chuck wagon, and that's totally different. That's it almost tastes like beef. I guess it's just because it's old, older hens, you know, three year old hens, two, three year old. So, well, I think it's also because of the mixture of every part of the meat, not just. Yeah, it's, it's whole bird. We debone every bit of it. And it's just really good. It tastes like, tastes and looks like beef. The 
that you are in labor. There she is. She's got the pant going on. Mm -hmm. She's hot too. But yeah, she's she's coming into labor. She ain't nesting yet. But she will. Well, I think you you had said the due date was the twenty eighth, which is she's laying down. Um, I'd call that labor. Yeah, which is tomorrow. And then you kept saying Saturday, which is the twenty ninth, so I think I need to look back on the calendar, but I think her due date is actually tomorrow. Um, either way, if she's a day ahead, that's not it. That's a, fine. But they always have them at night. <laughs> yeah. They always have them at night. But you know what? They are excellent at taking care of it right by themselves. They are. I don't know if the camera is picking up her panting, but that is a sure sign of labor and her laying down and she's getting a little agitated with me being here so we're going to feed her she probably won't eat anything tonight because they tend to go off feed right before they deliver but she's got nice clean dry bedding up in here plenty of cold water she's a good looking hog y'all should have some good looking pigs y'all this is the culmination right here of four years of raising pigs to get the genetic line that we're wanting in this Hereford breed. Dixie is it. She's been bred to a stud boar out of Indiana. I can't remember the boar's name right now off the top of my head. Back. I can't remember either. But he's a hoss of a boar and she is expressing milk. Well, not expressing milk. She will right before she delivers, but you can tell that she's bagged up Everything looks great, y'all. She's nice and clean because we put her in here about three days ago. And she's settling in, got fresh shavings, everything she needs to make a bed. Now we'll go check on the resident mascot, Rosie. She's hungry, as yeah. usual. She's hungry all the time, y'all. Kind of like Lisa. Yeah. Hungry. Right? Yep. For any of y'all that are new to the channel, if you don't know, Rosie's our mascot. She was our original sow that we started with and she has been adopted by someone that provides her feed. So she was going to be sausage and, um, and she still may be at some point in time, y'all. But for now, she's our mascot. So y'all, even though we have the pieces of slab wood on top of where we planted the carrots, Lisa still comes down twice a day, sucks them in, keeps them moist so that they'll germinate. And she was telling me that something died in the garden. Yes. What was it? Your, the beets that you planted, um, what, a week ago? Yep. Yeah, they're toast. Just too hot, y'all. Yeah. I thought that everything would be fine down here, but... It's just extreme heat, guys. Well, we went straight into, I think, the air fryer. Basically. Yeah, it's we we could we could probably cook something outside as hot as it is instead of getting over that hot stove here in a few minutes. But we'll replant the beets because I really like pickled beets. I love those things. I think I think most everything that we planted Sunday should be fine because they're not up and the collards are fine. Yeah, the collars look good. We planted those the same time as the beets. Um, we're just having, I think we're code red for the heat tomorrow. We're, we're code Sunday. hot, y'all. Code and, hot. And it's already been like what should have been code hot to me. Um, it's been miserable. Um, 
we go from one extreme to the other. But so. we're just finally getting hot, y'all, and usually we're hot already a month ago. So I'm kind of glad that it held off, even though it's kind of probably hurt some things in the garden, because it's been a little bit better for working outside. Anyways, we're going to finish this up, and I'm going to show you the collards real quick that are up, and some weeding that Lisa did today. Exciting stuff, y'all. You can see right there where I got my hand, that's some Georgia collards. And you can tell that Matthew planted them because he's got me lots of good thinning to do. Yep, better to be thin than... <laughs> I hate thinning. Better to thin than not have enough. And I say that, but, but that you can tell Matthew planted the collards because they need to be thinned so heavily. Several years ago, it's in one of our older, earlier videos, he planted carrots for me in one of our raised beds and like this row here was I think either 700 or 750 seeds which is you know a packet and he planted a whole entire pound of a $20 pack <laughs> whole entire pound of carrots in a raised bed and it was an absolute the germination was great but it was fun to weed <laughs> So I guess now you know why Lisa's considered the green thumb and I'm just considered the labor. Because she's the real planter. But I did plant a lot of this stuff down here. I enjoy planting. She's just better at taking care of stuff and has more knowledge on and things. And spacing it so it doesn't have to be thinned. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, as hot as it is, I believe I'll let you plant everything out here from now on the rest of the summer. How about it? Well, I think we're done down here. So. Well, no, we're not. The beet's got to be replanted. Well, the beets, well yes, that's true. The beets have to be replanted. I'm going to take you over here and show you what Lisa's been doing in the garden today, some maintenance. She decided she wanted to um, be extra tough today. I didn't get the So she came in here and weeded all this okra by hand today. And still missed them. There's plenty of weeds we still gotta get. Probably just bring the little cultivator down here and till this grass under on this new spot. Y'all, it doesn't matter how dry it gets or how hot it gets, weeds thrive. Poke salad. <laughs> yeah, she ripped some up. It's everywhere, y'all, with this on this new ground, and it's just a sign, indication of poor ground. And we'll work that out as time goes on through cover cropping and continued planting on it. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for us this evening here at the Piney Woods Homestead. Nothing too exciting going on, other than yes, pigs getting ready to be here. Yes. And lots of sweaty chainsawing and pushing trees with an excavator and decking logs and Got a whole lot of logs that are coming back here to be milled, y'all. Somebody's got to get back on the splitter. Somebody's got to get the splitter out so I can get back on the splitter, but not while yeah. it's 5,000 degrees. Yep. So. A couple of y'all have mentioned volunteering and coming out and doing some work, so I think it's probably a good time <laughs> to have y'all out. Guys, y'all have a good day, a great week. Lord willing, the creek don't rise too high. We'll see you on the next one.